Federal authorities may have launched a criminal investigation into former Senate candidate Christine O'Donnell. The feds may be looking into whether she may have used campaign money to pay personal expenses. And Christine O'Donnell will join us in just a moment to face those allegations. But first, Rob Nelson has a closer look. They call us wacky. They call us wing nuts. We call us we the people. <laughs> Christine O'Donnell may have lost the race for Joe Biden's Delaware Senate seat despite Sarah Palin's endorsement, but the Tea Party darling sure made things interesting. I'm not a witch. She landed a book deal and her campaign raised more than $7 million, a state record. Now, two former staffers reportedly allege she used some of that money to pay personal expenses, including her rent, during three consecutive Senate runs starting in 2006. She already acknowledged she paid part of her rent with campaign money. However, she argued her house doubled as campaign headquarters. Wednesday, O'Donnell's Kem said it hasn't heard from authorities and there called the allegations politically motivated, saying, quote, given that the king of the Delaware political establishment just so happens to be the vice president of the most liberal presidential administration in U.S. history, it's no surprise that misuse and abuse of the FBI would not be off the table. And Christine O'Donnell joins us now from Philadelphia. So, Christine, let's get right to it. Have you ever in any of your campaigns ever use campaign funds for personal expenses, uh, for rent or anything like that? No, there's been no impermissible use of campaign funds whatsoever. You have to look at this uh, whole thug politic tactic for what it is. Uh, we have heard of no investigation. The AP has been tipped off before my lawyer or our campaign or anyone has ever been notified. The woman leading the crew complaint is a former Biden staffer who's so far to the left that she's, you know, to the left of most leftists. But not just one, but two former people from your campaign are, are making these allegations, Christine. Right, and the other one is someone who was fired after a week and a half. <laughs> I mean, so, you know, you have to look at the credibility of their sources. And as these two uh, fired, disgruntled former uh, people involved with my campaign have started making these allegations, even more people who were involved with the 2008 campaign have risen up to say, hey, you know, I was involved with her for months, more than just a week and a half, and, and didn't see this. I'm confident that we have always done everything to comply with all the rules and regulations, and I'm confident that uh, we will be cleared of any, of any charges. In your statement, you alluded to the vice president and, and gave the impression that you believe that he may be a part of the reason of this investigation. Do you really believe the vice president has a part in this? Well, we were tipped off. You don't need an anonymous source. You don't need a tipster to show that this is politically motivated. We were informed that the Delaware political establishment was going to use every resource available to them to, you know, including uh, launching phony investigations, making false accusations, and tying me up with lawsuits to make sure that I can't move forward politically, to try to stop this movement in its tracks. So I, you know, unfortunately I even expect more things to come because that's their tactic. You have run three times, you've lost three times, you're right about <laughs> Um, the fact that you defeated Castle in the primary and that got a lot of people's attention, but you were soundly defeated in the general election. Why do you believe that you are seen as a threat? Well, because look at what happened. First of all, nobody thought that we could upset Mike Castle because everybody uh, on the left and the right was, was pulling behind him. He was a 40-year incumbent. The whole establishment was behind him. But because I had the grassroots, the voters, the people in Delaware behind me, we beat, we beat the establishment. Um, and then after that, you look at what happened between the primary and the general election. We had less than six weeks. You know, with the White House coming in and, you know, President Obama made numerous trips to Delaware in that six, six weeks period. You had all the unions pulling out all the stops. The vice president made numerous trips to Delaware. You know, uh, we had 
all the weight of the Democratic establishment coming against us, in addition to the weight of the Republican establishment coming against us. So despite your defeats, you still have a campaign manager. Are you planning a future run for office? We're working on the wind down of the 2010 campaign right now. Um, what the future holds, I don't know. But uh, I am starting a PAC and writing a book because we want to continue to give a voice to the voiceless. We want to continue the movement to challenge the establishment and hold our political leaders accountable. I mean, look at what happened in, in, in 2010. There was a very clear message sent to Washington that spending is out of control, yet you know, in the lame duck session, they wanted to try to put billions of dollars of pork into these spending bills. They're not getting the message. The movement has to continue to set the, to, to keep the, the, the politicians accountable, and that's what I want to continue to do. And that's what they're trying to stop with all these phony investigations. So again, you deny that you have used campaign funds inappropriately for any personal expenses. Absolutely, uncategorically. And, and, you know, we've got one of the best attorneys in Washington, the best attorney in politics involved in this campaign. And, you know, she's thoroughly investigated. And she, too, is very confident that there's been no wrongdoing. And that's what she tells me behind the scenes. You know, so, uh, yeah, I'm very confident we've done nothing wrong. Christine O'Donnell, thank you very much, as always, for being with us this morning. Thank we you. appreciate it.